This Thursday, there is a brand new National Geographic special out on Disney Plus Hotstar. It's called Explorer the Last Tapui, in which an incredible team sets out to discover one of the last unexplored regions on Earth, deep in the Amazon jungle. We got a chance to speak to the incredible people behind this expedition. Here now is my conversation with legendary biologist, Dr. Bruce Means. First ascents are basically modern exploration. When you're climbing a piece of rock that no human has ever touched, you literally step into the unknown. Bruce, it is such an honor. Uh, I'm so happy to speak to you today. I loved the episode um, and what you do is incredible. But if you would forgive an incredibly stupid question, I keep thinking of that infamous Donald Rumsfeld quote about known knowns and known unknowns. Do we know how much we don't know? We probably know maybe 80% or 60% of the vertebrate animals on this planet. You know, the mammals and the birds. And the, we don't know as much about amphibians and reptiles, but we know a lot about them too. But it's the invertebrates and especially the microcosm of all, all the bacteria and uh, algal and uh, um, micro, my, microorganismal uh, creatures that are so abundant we probably know less than 10 percent i am curious about like i was watching the work that you do um on tv and it's still incredibly hands-on and i was curious if in 2022 technology has in any way made that easier or does it still require people like yourself to be on the ground digging through leaves and trees and mud to discover these things Oh, absolutely. And uh, that's the hope for the future. You know, you, you really do have to get out um, and get dirty to find the animals. But there's so much more that technology has done to help us in the way of uh, biochemical activity. You know, you bring animals and plants into the laboratory and you look at their DNA now, and now, wow, is that ever a powerful tool? Let's say you have a whole bunch of frogs, and they're all about the same size, and there's an awful lot of variation. You don't know whether you have a variable population, or maybe you have two species that have an, a strong overlap in how they look. Well, their DNA will tell you, you know, whether you have a whole bunch of them that are all related closely to each other and not at all related to this other bunch, even though they all look alike. We're now learning those are called cryptic species complexes. And there's a bunch, wow. bunch of those on the planet. So both of them, both laboratory and uh, field work are important and will be all through, the, all through time, I'm sure. Talk to me about the moment, um, I guess in the show, the big moment, which is that decision to not carry on and get up the wall. I think we saw glimpses of it in the show, obviously, and I could see that you were, it was a difficult decision, you were emotional about it, but I just wanted to know how long, I, I think I didn't get a sense of time or how much time had lapsed. It happened rather rapidly, let's put it that way. But it, and it helped make the story line pretty good because you get this old guy in there and he's <laughs> struggling to make it, you know. I wanted to have them haul me up the cliff and originally that was kind of the idea. The truth of it is that probably was logistically going to be very difficult. And, you know, right. in the constraints of the money and the time we had to do the documentary, it wasn't re reasonable. If we'd had a couple of more weeks, we probably could have done all that. But um, what upset me somewhat, you could see it emotionally there, was I got to the penultimate camp. And then I wanted yeah. to go up to the wall. That was going to be another hard day. In fact, the reason the, the climbers came back and told me they didn't think I they wanted me to try that is it, it was because of my infirmity of my legs, uh, the chances of me slipping and falling and breaking a leg or an arm or a cutting myself were pretty strong. And, and even I recognized when the doctor and the climbers all didn't want me to take that last long climb that had anything happened to me, I would have jeopardized the entire expedition. How are you going to get this big carcass? <laughs> and even if I didn't die and I had to be hauled down out of there, I was going to put other people at risk. But believe me, I got to tell you, there were many, many days and many nights. It was about a week that I had at that penultimate camp. I was thinking about, I want to do it anyway. When I'm not Let's go for it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> let me, again, let me tell you, Bruce, uh, I am uh, half your age and I get winded <laughs> climbing upstairs. So what you did was absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. I, I think I'm out of time. It has been such an honor speaking to you. Uh, and congratulations. It was a fantastic hour of television. I was, I was deeply moved more than anything else. I was incredibly emotional watching it. So thank you. Only our feet have been here that I'm aware of. That was legendary biologist Dr. Bruce Means. You can watch him on National Geographic's Explorer, The Last Tapui on Disney Plus Hotstar when it premieres Friday, April 22nd, Earth Day. Don't forget to check out our other interviews on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your family, you know what to do.